Hey, good morning. Kyler Hawthorne here from Veracity Motors. I just wanted to shoot you a real quick walk around video on our 2019 Ram 1500 Warlock that we have here. This one has about 33,000 miles on it. We've got it Veracity value priced at $30,000. So I'll go ahead and show you the overall condition of it, the awesome features it has to offer and everything like that. All right, here it is. The 2019 Ram 1500 Warlock. This is a very nice truck, like I mentioned, only 33,000 miles on it, so she's barely broke in. Great four-wheel drive out of these trucks as well. This one does have the five and a half foot box on it. Got a very nice tonneau cover on the back here as well. And then here's what the bed is looking like. Pretty standard use, you know, a few scratches and things like that, but uh, no big dents or holes or uh, anything of that nature. Still in pretty darn good shape. This one also has the reverse camera built into it right here in the tailgate. And then it does have the reverse sensors in the bumper. And then you've got your hitch back here, of course, as well as your four and seven prong uh, hookups for pulling. Got a very nice set of wheels as a part of this Warlock package. And the tires have pretty decent life left in them. Not gonna have to change them anytime soon. Another part of this Warlock package are the black badges, as well as this front end. So it gives you a little bit different grill. Got a very nice look to it. Here's what things are looking like inside the truck. So it does have the black cloth all the way throughout it and it's in great condition. No stair stains or tears or uh, anything like that. It also has the all weather floor mats all the way throughout it. So you don't have to worry about getting snow and stuff like that in here. You've also got a little bit of under seat storage on this one as well. And here's what things are looking like up front. Again, black cloth interior. Uh, this is the full bench seat. So you can fit six passengers in here total. And then over here on the door, you've got your window controls as well as your power mirror controls uh, and then your door locks. Got a very nice look to it as well with this nice trim that's on here. And then you've got all sorts of little cubbies for storage and things like that in here. Hopping into the driver's seat. Here's what things are looking like from here. Got a nice digital center stack on here. Lots of great driving information that can be displayed there for you. All you have to do uh, to change that info is use these little arrows here. So if you hit the back button, you can go into the main menu here and you can see all of the different options that you have available to you. And then if you want to go into one, say for example, the Speedo, all you have to do is hit this forward arrow and it'll take you right into um, that information that you select. Like I said, lots of great driving info in there and you can switch through it at any time. Uh, a couple other controls that you have here on the steering wheel. So you've got your voice recognition system. So you can make phone calls uh, and all of that different stuff straight through your cell phone through the uh, system here. And then you've also got your cell phone button to answer or end phone calls. Uh, over on the right, you've got your cruise control. Uh, you can set it, increase speed or decrease speed, cancel it, turn it on and off, all of that different stuff there from the right side. And then you have the gear plus and minus. So you can actually lock gears out. Uh, so if you're in a pulling a heavy trailer in a hilly area you can basically lock out the overdrive so that you're not shifting a ton which is a very nice feature helps save your transmission just behind the steering wheel on the left side here you've got your windshield wiper controls uh, it's also got your blinkers as well as your brights and then on the dash here to the left of the steering wheel you've got your uh, lighting controls You've got uh, all of your different, uh, you know, brightening and dimming of the display, um, your vents and that type of stuff. Uh, very nice setup there. Over in the center console, this is what your entertainment section is looking like. Uh, so you've got the uh, touch screen on here. Uh, got pretty much all of the cell phone connections available to it with the Bluetooth and those types of things. It's also got the AM and uh, FM as well as the satellite radio. And then like I mentioned before, you do have that reverse camera built into here. So makes hooking up trailers super easy or backing out of parking spots or your driveway or anything like that. Um, very easy. 
Just below that, you've got your climate controls. So you got your fan speed, your temperature, and then your zone selection. And then just below that, you've got a couple different buttons for traction control, tow haul, and if you wanted to turn those parking sensors off. Uh, and then this is what your shifter is looking like. It is that rotary style shifter. Uh, and then just below that, you've got all of your different four wheel drive controls. And then a nice little 12 volt port down here for charging as well. You also have one for the passenger side. Uh, in the center area, like I mentioned, you've got the bench seat here, got all your cup holders. You've also still got quite a bit of storage space in here. Got a USB port as well as your auxiliary port. Uh, and then a nice little change holder as well. And then over on the passenger side, you've got that double decker glove box here. So you've got the upper and the lower portion. You've got plenty of storage space that's available to you in there. And then here's just kind of another general overview of how everything is looking in the 2019 Ram 1500. All right, so like I said, just a real quick walk around on the 2019 Ram 1500 Warlock. Uh, if you have any questions, if there's anything else you want to see on it, definitely just let me know. You can reach me here at the store, 701-258-2277. Just ask for Kyler. Thank you.